All right, so I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and this is the third in our series of drawing a graph in Microsoft Paint and, and Windows. The first step I'm going to take is just to move the graph down a little, because I think I'm running short on space. Maybe I'll even stretch it down a little here. There we go. All right, that's just to give us a little more room to play with. And the reason I need room to play with is because we're starting to add data. And in order to add the data, you have to identify the data. And we're going to do this with color coding. So for our first book that we're recording sales data for, which is the loud talking diet, we're going to go with the color blue. So I'll pick blue here. We'll come into text. And we'll type the loud talking diet. So that identifies that the loud talking diet uses blue as a color. And if you want to, you can come along here to line. And I'm going to pick the line width up one and put a little line width in there just to make it obvious what people are dealing with. Now we have the most data for the loud talking diet. We said sales started out in the first quarter at 204, which is just barely above 200. And they rose to 357 in the second quarter. From there we went to 316 in the third quarter. Uh, what, up to 751 in the fourth quarter. down to 322. And you might notice I'm using the cross marks of the mouse uh, of the cursor to get the alignment more or less right. Does it need to be critical? No, because it's a graph. And in the end you're giving a graphical representation of data. I'm not providing something here that I expect people to read my sales off to the exact number they could get that from the uh, data table if they really wanted to. Are we all the way up to 1116 here? So this was a good, oh, it's the fourth quarter. So you get your Christmas sales in for our imaginary book. 341, 321, and down a little. 543. 842, and finally down to 214 in the first quarter. Not sure what happened there. Probably the book is losing popularity. So that's the Loud Talking Diet sales graph. Now our next one, our next book is Dow 20,000 by 2008. And since the Dow is in the red, I think we'll go with red for that color. Oops, and I didn't want to use that there. We'll hit undo. I wanted to use the letters. So here we go with Dow 20,000 20, by 2008. And now we'll go and pick up the line and make sure we're on the thicker one, which we are, and put in a little line so people know what it is that they're dealing with there. And we'll come in and we'll graph in that data. So that started in the third quarter of 2006 with 409 sales. Went up to 801 in the next quarter. So that's really on the line is where it should be. Down to 645. up to 889, up to 950, you can see I was getting rich on this book, up to 1243 in Christmas sales, people who were going to see the Dow go to 20,000 points. 1039, you see it's beginning at 2008 in the first quarter, this book could still have been popular. But I suspect by the second quarter, as I read my Wall Street Journal, sales would have uh, fallen off a bit as people grew skeptical. Down to 134 in the third quarter as the banks were all going broke. 
um, 18 sales in the fourth quarter and presumably nothing in 2009 unless somebody was buying it for a gag. So that takes care of Dow 20,000 by 2008. Then we have my second novel which was a joyous sort of a book so I think I'll graph it in light blue. So here we go with my second novel. That does imply that I have a first novel, which I do. I never published it. And that makes sense since I never published a second novel either. I'm just going to pick it up a little, make sure it's on the same line. So here's our second novel graph coming in, which starts in the first quarter of 2007 at 17. So there we go. We'll just start out there at 17. Pick it up to 88. As you can see, it's not easy selling novels. Down to 56. All right, up to 75. And there's a lesson here, too, which is that when you're graphing stuff, any sort of data, you can't expect that it's all going to fall in exactly the same range. So you have to make your graph grid big enough, your axes wide enough, to be able to accommodate different data ranges so that you'll actually have something you can compare. I see sales are picking up here. We can live with that. 300 and 215 isn't bad for the first quarter. All right. And then our final uh, book to graph is Meeting Jewish Women on Mars. Now, this is also, it sounds like a self-help book, but coming from me, it would have to be a, a work of fiction and not because I haven't been to Mars, but because I didn't meet any Jewish women there. Oh, I forgot to change the color. So let's say I'm green with envy. So meeting Jewish... Oh, I'm going to run out of space, I think. Women on Mars. We're going over into a two-liner. I guess that's okay in this particular instance, since we did leave enough room. I'll just pick it up a little. And we'll put in the uh, line color. Now, this isn't really an ideal color to be graphing with. I have a hard time seeing it right now. But it is rather bright. Be bright beyond time, right? 432. It started out in the second quarter of 2007 at 432 because guys are always looking for books on how to meet women, right? 432, 675. Uh, they just wouldn't get a whole lot of useful information out of this book, I'm afraid. 885, 657. Coming down. And you see how quick this is. It's not... Um, me having some kind of great mathematical ability here. It's just that, you know, we have the right, the correct grid, and it makes estimating where these numbers should lay. Ooh, 1199. I think my book here on dating advice is taking off. And then 906 still in the third. It looks like it might be my big book for 2009. And that's it. So we've, we've graphed those sales numbers on our chart, and I think we'll, uh, going to have to call it quits for this demonstration of drawing a graph. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and you can find the text for this presentation on the phonerbooks.com website in the file phonerbooks.com slash graphing.htm, and we'll get back to you later.